Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys the best books to use to study for your FE exam. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so the first book I'm going to talk about are recommended for those of you who recently graduated about like five years ago, right? Um, anything like 10 or 20 years ago, you probably forgot a lot of material, so you might need more in-depth kind of books. So I'll share with you guys those at the end of this video. So first we're going to start with the FE Review Manual by Linderberg. So this book, I really recommend it because it does go over the concept and it also provides practice problems. So I'm going to show you guys how the review manual looks like in the next clip. Okay guys, so this is how the FE review manual looks like. This is actually for other disciplines. Uh, it's a very old edition. I just found it online. So I just want to walk you guys through it. The format is similar to the new edition. So here first, you're going to have the topics. This is similar to the topics you have in the specifications for other disciplines. And then after that, uh, he goes in depth of the topics. And then here he talks about like how to use this book, how to study for the FE exam, uh, how to manage your time better. It's pretty cool. You should, uh, if you have time, you can read it. And then here he has a study schedule. I actually started using this at first when I was studying for my FE exam, but then I just created my own. And if you guys are interested, I can share that with you uh, as well. But, the, but it's really cool to create a plan um, because it helps you stick to it. And then it's also like, you don't go like five days with no studying and it's important to stay consistent for the FE exam, but it's also important to take rest days. So remember that because you don't want to burn out and you want to give yourself a break. So that way you recharge and then your brain is ready to study again. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip to math because that's like the most sections are going to look like something like this. So first you're going to have a diagnostic exam. I would recommend that you take this one first. So go ahead, take this exam. And this is really cool because it tells you where you're at and what you need to work on more, right? Usually you get about 10 to 15 questions and this format is same for most su subjects or topics that he has in this book. Once you're done with the diagnostic, what I recommend is that don't look at the solution. Don't look at how he solved it. Just look if you, you got it wrong or right. If you got it wrong, leave it at the moment and then go study the conceptual part. So after the diagnostic exam, usually here he goes over concepts and he explains um, the concepts. And then he also provides you with the equation. So, and these equations are also on the reference handbook. However, you should open your reference handbook when you're studying because you want to make sure that you're not studying anything extra because a lot of times I found out that these books or some of the books out there, they have some formulas or equations or concepts that are not on the reference handbook and you should just ignore it because you probably you wouldn't have something like that in the exam. And also the FE exam has actually recently changed. So there's a lot of changes that recently happened. And so these books don't have those changes. So keep that in mind whenever you're in doubt, if something is going to be in your exam, always reference back to the specifications and the manual, right? So here in the concept, you would also see, uh, I don't think in this edition he has it like that, but I know in the newest edition or the book that I use, within the concepts, he would explain concepts, provide equations, and then he would give like an example, which is really cool because then you see how it is used or why we use it and so forth. So, but then here, I think in this edition, you get sample problems at the end of the chapter, which is pretty cool as well. So yeah, and then once you're done with this concepts and the examples and stuff, then go back to the diagnostic exam and take it again and then redo those problems that you did wrong and then see if you got them right this time. And I would apply the same method for the practice when you take the NCS Praxis exam, which is uh, the book that I recommend, book number three. Okay guys, so now that we covered the review manual, now the next book we have is the FE Praxis Problem by Linderberg. So I recommend this book because it has a lot of problems for each subject. And the best thing to do or the best way to study for this test 
is to expose yourself to many, many problems as possible. So this book doesn't really go over concepts. It just mainly focuses on problems, which is good. I would also recommend that you time yourself when you're doing these type of problems. That way you know how well you are with time. Because remember, the FE exam, you are going to be timed. And time management is really important for these type of exams, right? So when you're doing these problems, just keep track of how much time is taking you to do each problem and just try to work on it. Also, guys, both of these books are available for most of the FE disciplines. I will leave the links in the description below in case you guys want to check it out. Okay, guys, so after you cover the FE review manual and then you do some more problems uh, using the practice problem book, the last book I would recommend is the NCS FE practice exam. This is really important because you want to take a practice exam before you go on to your test. It helps you kind of see what it feels like to, to take a test and then also time yourself exactly like the FE exam. And so that way you can check how you're doing with time management. And then also you're going to see the problems that you're doing wrong and then you're going to try to work on your weaknesses. It's also a way to check your progress and where you are and what you need to study more and so on. So it's really important to take a practice exam. I always recommend this to all my students. And then I also want to talk about the handbook manual. Do not buy the handbook manual because it is just going to be a waste of your money. The handbook manual, it is already uh, provided to you by the NCES as a PDF file. And you don't want to use the book because in the exam, you're going to have the PDF version. So you want to practice using that format, right? Because when you have a book next to you, it's different than looking at the screen. And also you want to have like a spatial memory. So you want to make sure your brain remembers what most of the equations are as in the PDF format. So when you're taking the practice exam or when you are studying or using the FE review manual, all the practice problem, whenever you're studying for the FE exam, please have your handbook uh, manual open. It's really important to remember where the equations are and to have a deep understanding of those equations because that's what really gonna help you with your FE exam. And you're also going to remember where they are and you're going to be a little faster during your test. Okay guys, so now for those of you who graduated 20 years ago, or even like if you still went over the FE review manual, you did the practice problems and you just feel like you're not ready, you still want to have more problems or you're not understanding uh, like a specific topic or one of the topics is intimidating, whatever it is. What I would recommend is first, if you still have your class notes from college, please go over that and then your books as well. It's going to help you a lot. Like. When I was studying for my FE exam, I went through my class notes so many times. Uh, and also because like you already know that material, you know, your brain knows where it is. And then when you studied for it, so it does remember it. So it would just be a quick review and you're just going to like start getting it really fast. Uh, so there's that. And then also if let's say you, let's say you're struggling with statics, um, get a book from Amazon, get like statics book or any material that you're struggling with, just search a, a good book for it, get that book and just study the material. It might take you a while to like learn all that material and stuff, but then again, you haven't been in school for a while, you probably didn't really use much uh, of statics and stuff during work. Uh, so that might be actually something you might look into for like each subject, just look at a book and then just dive in into the subject, learn the concepts, do problems, and then go ahead and do the practice problems from Linderberg and then the practice exam by the NCES. Okay guys, so those are the books that I recommend. Those are the books that I used to study for my FE exam. I hope these books help you with your studying. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I will see you on the next clip. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck with your studying. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And also share with us what kind of books do you use to study for your FE exam. Again, if you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you soon. À la prochaine.